so welcome back to my channel i want to go ahead and do my march favorites i know i'm doing it so late in the game but y'all there were so many videos i had to film beforehand like the sephora vib sale recommendations fancy reviews like there was a lot of good stuff that i had to get out first but now we're back in action okay um but i do have a couple products that i was loving last month so i want to share them with you guys and if you're excited make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump right into the video so moving on to brows, I do have two products and I've talked about these so much to the point where like I feel like I don't need to mention it again, but still it's one of my favorites from last month. Um, I do have the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel in the shade Dark Brown and then also I do have the Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Style and Wax. These two are like a staple in my collection at this point when it comes to my brows. I use this to go ahead and fill my brows really quickly. Then I go back in with a, you know, I was about to say spoolie, a pencil to fill in where I couldn't get and then I'm good, you guys. And it takes about like 10 minutes now to do my brows compared to like 40 minutes before, which sounds crazy, but I used to spend like 40 minutes doing my brows and I don't have that time anymore. So shout out to ABH for this one. Now their brow styling wax is one of my favorites because number one, it makes your brows look super fluffy, but it doesn't feel crunchy at all. But I love that fluffy, bushy type look and this makes it so easy to achieve um and the best part is it doesn't have like that white cast as well and y'all know what i mean because a lot of the soap brow products out there once you put it on your brows they're gonna look super white and just flaky and i don't have time for that either okay so shout out to anastasia she killed it with these two products and if you haven't tried them out then you're missing out okay so this next one you guys is actually nothing new on my channel but i've been using it in a new way that makes my makeup look super smooth and flawless and it's an urban decay all nighter waterproof set in powder this is their translucent powder but yes i'm pretty sure you guys know i use this to set my face sometimes or to touch up throughout the day but how i've been using this recently is to go ahead and prep my under eyes before i bake so what i do is i grab my sponge and i just kind of you know get a little bit of the product onto the sponge and press it into my under eyes and everywhere else I apply my concealer. Then I bake on top and I don't know what it does y'all, but it does something for me. It makes everything look so smooth, so flawless, and I'm pretty much matte all day in my T-zone at this point. So if you haven't tried this product out, I do recommend it for, you know, setting your face and touch-ups and all of that. But this is a great under eye powder as well, and I'm obsessed with it. So make sure you go ahead and pick this up. I know the Sephora VIB sale is going on right now, so this is the perfect time to pick this one up. Now moving on to mascara, you guys know on my channel, I really don't mention mascara because nine times out of 10, I'm wearing my lashes, so it doesn't even matter. But this one from Wet n Wild, the Big Papa Mascara, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in a favorite video. If I did, then I'm sorry. Um, but with this one, it's so good, you guys, that I have to mention it to y'all. So with that being said, this is what it looks like once you open it up. I always look at spoolies because spoolies will tell you right away how the mascara is going to perform on your lashes. But this one reminds me of the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex Mascara. And that's why it's so good. Any spoolie that looks like this, just know it's going to be bomb on your lashes. Just know that right away. So with this one, once I tried it out on my top lashes and my bottom lashes, it gives you so much length, so much drama and volume. And I'm always going to go ahead and pick this one up. And with Wet n Wild, y'all know it's drugstore prices, so it's not super expensive. So I'm really happy about that. But if you're looking for a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, this one is for you. And obviously, I do have lashes on today, but I did apply this on the bottom part of my eyes. I don't know if y'all can tell, but... They're super long and they just have so much volume compared to any other mascaras I have tried out there. Um, so yeah, this one is a must. They're Big Papa Mascara. Like, I love this name, so I always have to say it like that. But Big Papa, y'all need it. Y'all need it. So moving on to skincare, I do have three items I do want to mention. The first one is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish 
formula y'all so to be honest i haven't tried a lot of the ordinary products but i kept seeing this one um often and the reviews on this one is so good as well so i was like let me pick this up because basically it's supposed to help you with breakouts help with dark spots and then also help with oil control as well and i've only been using this for about a week and a half to be honest with y'all but i'll tell you right now when it comes to my oil production y'all your girl is really oily anymore at this point. And I was like, what have I been doing? You know, I've been changing my skincare up a little bit. But I will say it's probably this product right here because, y'all, like, I just went outside for a little bit. I was taking pictures. I was doing a lot. And I came back and I was like, wait, I don't even need to touch up. Like, my skin still looks really, really good. So this helps to control your oil production, kind of help it not to be so, you know, much throughout the day and i just love it for that and the second thing i do want to mention is this helps with breakouts as well and i do think it's been helping me because y'all my skin for the past month and a half has been so bad i've been breaking out on my chin my forehead even my cheeks and i was just like what is going on um i did tell you guys it was probably my brushes because i hadn't washed my brushes in months so i finally did that which is good but then also you guys i am on my cycle right now and typically when i'm on my cycle I have breakouts all on my chin, my forehead, everywhere. And y'all can see, I just have this baby one right here and that's it. So I do think this product is really helping me with breakouts and all of that. So yeah, make sure you pick this up. This is so good, you guys, because number one, it's super affordable, which I love. And it has great ingredients in here. Um, and obviously I can't talk about the dark spots because it does take time to see if that's working. But I am trying other products as well with my dark spots. So yeah, I will update you guys on my skincare pretty soon once I figure out what works for my skin and what doesn't. But that video will be coming pretty soon, I promise. Now moving on to Fenty, I do have the Fenty Skin Moisturizer. I can't remember the actual name of it, but it's their moisturizer. And I actually really like this, you guys, because if you don't know on my channel, I've been using the Ulla Harrison Moisturizer for so long, but I will say sometimes it is a little bit pricey. Um, and I always want to try the Fenty Skin Moisturizer, so I did pick it up and I absolutely love this formula. Number one, the packaging, y'all. I just love the fact that it's twistable. And then also you can go ahead and buy the replacements instead of having to purchase all of this all over again. So it does get a little bit cheaper over time. And plus you're helping the environment by, you know, not wasting plastic and all of that. But now for the actual formula, you guys, I will say this is probably one of my favorite moisturizers I've tried out there. I am super picky when it comes to moisturizers because I am oily. And then plus on top of that, I do wear makeup. So you want to make sure that your moisturizer and your makeup kind of, you know, work hand in hand. And this one has a very good formula for that. Because when you do apply it on your skin, it has kind of like a a stickiness to it if that makes sense so it does help your foundation and all of that stick onto your face and then also it does have sunscreen as well so i'm just like really like you have everything i need in this moisturizer so if you haven't tried this one out i do recommend it it is great for oily skin type dry skin type it doesn't matter um and it's super hydrating but it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin so last but not least i do have the plum beauty let's see it doesn't have the name on here but is there automatic razor or hair trimmer for the face um you guys don't know i used to use like the actual eyebrow shaving sticks to get the hair off my face but now with this it makes it a lot easier because all you have to do literally you guys is turn this on put it on your face and it gets rid of all the extra hair that you have on your lips, um, your cheeks, like between your brows, all that good stuff. It is so easy to work with and it has made my routine so much faster. And on top of that, my skin right now, the way my makeup is laying, all right, is because of this, because this gives you a close shave to the skin and it doesn't irritate it at all. I don't break out after it or anything like that. It's just a really good, you know, machine to get the hair off your face. So yeah, I do recommend this one because I'm telling you, once you do shave your face, you will notice that your makeup looks a lot better but with that being said you guys those were all the products i did want to mention i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like always let me know down below some products you loved in the past month but with that being said i love you guys so much make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one